are these people? Well, I, I, I wanted to ask, uh, like, we've seen Israel lie time and time and time again. How many times do they have to outright lie before the West actually sees everything they say as lies? Like, do you think that will happen? Um, I think the West knows and they choose to enable it because Israel serves, you know, various agendas, for example, destabilizing the region, whether it's bombing Syria, bombing Lebanon, bombing, obviously, Gaza. The uh, the West, in terms of the leadership, no, and the media are just the lackeys of the leadership. Right. The Western public, I th I think... Well, I, I suppose it just depends on their um, leanings. Do they have a pro-Zionist leaning because of their religious beliefs? Are they are they just consumers of CNN and aren't really seeing what's going on? For example, in, not only in Gaza but in the West Bank as well. Um, but I, I think that because the last eleven months the Israeli genocide of Palestinians in Gaza has been live streamed twenty four seven. Yeah, I think that's had a a major impact. Maybe you two can speak to that because you're you know. You're based in the U.S., right? So, right. Mm -hmm. have you seen? Do you have any personal examples, for example, of uh, people you know who were ambivalent before and now are like, I can't believe that this is going on. Like, actually, pissed know, off about it. Yeah, it's it's tough, but yeah, I mean, through the suppression that we've had, we've definitely noticed a bit uh, people who weren't aware before. I, I also think it's a bit of it's one of those issues that people have been on top of for a while. You know, I mean, this goes back for decades now, you know, like Muhammad Ali was bringing it up, uh, you know, in, in the 60s. So like and it was happening well before then. Uh, it's it's hard to tell for us, you know. Um, right. Well, I, I think for me, I, I'm in the D.C. area. So mm -hmm. so I'm in basically in the liberal hub of the United States. Oh, basically. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so. So I see it in terms of, this is how I more commonly see it. I think people understand and are horrified by it, but at the same time, it's the idea of the electoral talking point of, right. you know, we definitely don't want this to continue happening. That being said, we have to continue to vote within the duopoly, otherwise yeah. the other guy is just going to make it worse. And so they're trying to put themselves in a pretzel, trying to justify the fact that we're ready to drop Biden over the issue, but they're willing to, no, right? You know, entertain Kamala Harris over the same issue, which I'm kind of like the dissonance in that. It's just kind of like, what are we doing? Don't quite get it. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of more or less the two sidedness that I don't like. Mm -hmm. If you understand it, then you should be willing to walk away. And even if they you know, do, really do the even if they've heard a bit about it, it's like, you know, the solutions to which are two state, which has been nonsense they, or, right. you know, like, or they compartmentalize yeah, everything. It's just, uh, right. it's just frustrating to say the least. You know, yeah, I, I just, live in the other just, aspect of the political spectrum here in Florida, right? Where, you know, they really don't care, right? Like, uh, so... And if they do, it's, you know, standard Bush terrorism talking points from a decade ago, <laughs> like, you know, brown people in huts are somehow our greatest threat. I, you know, I, like, it's just sad to some degree. But luckily, we've had some compatriots we get to deal with and we get to bring people like you on. So always helpful <laughs> to get that perspective. But. Yeah, I was just curious, you know, we, we've talked about that kind of stuff, and it seems like not much has been moving in that regard. You know, we cover the ICJ stuff extensively, you know, and like there's there's no Western leader that ends up at The Hague. So, unfortunately, yeah. and we have to fight the electoral nonsense all the time. You're not voting out the powers at B right now. So, yeah. <laughs> 